I think this is a very important um, question. And I think what I first have to say is that interest rates, low interest rates in the United States, we've had uh, the federal funds rate, our target has been at zero for an unthinkable six plus years. And we're now seeing interest rates at zero or even negative levels in other advanced countries. There is a reason for this. Um, the reason is that we really think this policy is necessary to help our economies move back to full employment and to achieve our price stability objectives. And in terms of financial stability, meeting those objectives actually is, has a favorable financial stability effect. Um, low interest rates have supported job creation and economic growth. It's helped households, certainly in the United States, um, engage in balance sheet repair uh, to be able to pay down debt, and they are in a much uh, sounder position as our banks. But it is true that in a low interest environment, we need to be sensitive and watch for risk to financial stability. Um, low interest rates can certainly incent some investors to reach for yield. It can incent them to take on leverage positions that if they unwind can create financial stability risks. And I guess we're doing two things. We're monitoring very carefully to look to see if those risks are developing. And to the extent we do see some risks developing, of course, we're trying to take action where we can, but we're speaking out more generally about the risks that we see developing. And I give you a couple of uh, examples. In the market for leverage loans, um, we're certainly seeing reach for yield, and we're seeing a deterioration in underwriting standards. And that's something we've been highlighting for a number of years. And in our role as a supervisor of financial institutions that are underwriting these loans, um, we are trying to ensure that underwriting standards um, move up and are higher to diminish risks. We've also seen a compression in spreads on high yield debt, um, which certainly looks like a reach for yield type of behavior. Um, I guess I would highlight that equity market valuations at this point generally are quite high. Now, they're not so high when you compare uh, the returns on equities to the returns on safe assets like bonds, which are also very low, but uh, there are potential dangers there. And in interest rates, obviously, not only short, but long-term interest rates are at very low levels. And that would appear to embody low term premiums, which um, can move and can move very rapidly. We saw this in the case of the taper tantrum in 2013, um, where there was a very sharp upward movement in rates. And uh, you do have divergent monetary policies potentially around the world. We need to be attentive and are to the possibility that um, when the Fed decides it's time to begin raising rates, um, these term premiums could move up and we could see a sharp jump in long-term rates. So we're trying to, you know, as I've repeatedly said, communicate as clearly about our monetary policy so we don't take markets by surprise. In addition to that, I'd say, um, Low interest rates can create interest rate risk at financial institutions. Um, many banks are finding their net interest margins compressed. They have an incentive to take on additional duration or credit risk. And if interest rates move up, that can create risk. In, it. in our supervision and in the stress tests, we're looking for, we're looking for that and analyzing their uh, ability to withstand that. Uh, insurance companies, pension funds, are subject to the same kind of pre pressures in a low interest rate environment. They find it hard to meet their return targets. And so FSOC staff and other regulatory agencies are monitoring, for example, in insurance companies and 
pension funds. But to overall, though, I think my assessment at this point would be that risk to financial stability are moderated, not, not elevated at this point. And I say that because we're not seeing any broad-based pickup in leverage. We're not seeing rapid credit growth. We're not seeing an increase in maturity transformation. And I would call those things kind of the hallmark of a financial bubble or uh, the precursors of a financial crisis. But uh, these are things we're, of course, focusing on very carefully. Thank you. 